There's a new Python linting tool called Rough, and I just had to have it in my Jupyter Lab notebook. Here's how I did it. Let's first create an environment from scratch. After activating the environment, then I next install Black, iSort, Rough, uh, Jupyter Lab Code Formatter, and Jupyter Lab itself into that environment. Now let's start Jupyter Lab. From here, we'll have to make a few adjustments to the settings. There's a couple of ways of doing that. The first you can do is click settings up here, settings, and then setting editor. You also see that there's a keyboard shortcut here, which is what I will be using. So command comma. Now, when you open up the settings tab, it looks something like this. I actually find it harder to use the UI interface here. So I prefer to use this JSON settings editor here on the right. And if you click this, it opens up the advanced settings editor. So let's click on the Jupyter Lab code formatter. There's two panels here. The left panel is the system default and the right panel is the one that you can edit under user preferences. Under the user preferences, this will actually be set to black to begin with. And what this means is um, you can open up a Jupyter notebook and from here, if you click this little icon here in the, in the toolbar, it will format the entire notebook and I'll quickly just do that. But of course, that was using the formatter black which is fine, you can use that if you want to, but I wanted to use rough. And you can actually use rough, or you can set it to be rough to start with, but it actually doesn't work. You have to make one more tweak to actually make this work. And I have a little notes here on how to do that. So you need to actually change your Jupyter config itself. This is at the system level. So you have to run this code here, the Jupyter Lab generate config. In this case, I will in fact overwrite it and just have a completely blank or having a new default Jupyter uh, config file. So let's open this up. A file that's mostly commented out and it is 1100 lines long. The edit that you need to make to this or the, the change that you need to make to it is to take this code here, copy this and simply paste it at the bottom of the of your, your Jupyter config. Now, whenever you make a change to this, uh, to your Jupyter config, you'll have to restart. So let's go back in here and let's shut this down. Let's open up Jupyter Lab again. Get into settings, command comma, advanced settings, and here, what we want to do is change this to rough format. This corresponds to, if we go back here, this new server format called rough underscore format, which was set up here. This is what the code here does. And from here, the same kind of trick applies. You click this and it will format the entire notebook. Now this is, this is as I mentioned, very, very helpful. But one thing I really like to do when I'm in the notebook and, and using it is I often want to only format the single cell that I'm working on. So I would like to have a, a way of just formatting that one cell. Now you can do this by right clicking in the body, clicking format cell. By default, there isn't a keyboard shortcut here, but you can actually make this format for the single cell, a keyboard shortcut, and I'll show you how to do that next. So you select keyboard shortcuts and you'll see the system defaults on the left and you'll see the, the on the right, a bunch of keyboard shortcuts here. The, this is the command text that you'll need to have. You copy this, go over to your keyboard shortcuts and paste it in here. Now, while you're typing in a cell or you're in edit mode, simply typing control K will format the cell you're in and, not, and nothing else, just that one cell. I find this very helpful, especially for when you have something like this. We have a really long list or some kind of thing that's just way off the page. And all you need to do is very quickly format this one thing. You don't need to format the whole notebook. So you control K and boom, it just automatically formats it right there. So I hope you found that helpful and useful. Best of luck.